verse 15 sees the start of a new paragraph. And Paul is about to break into one of his famous prayers. But just here in verse 15, he gives the reason for him praying. He, he tells the Ephesians what caused him to be praying for them. Let me read it and I'm going to read verse 16 as well. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all God's people, I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. Here in verse 15, Paul tells them why he's praying for them. And it's because he has heard of them. He has heard good things of them. And the two things he picks up on are two of, the th two of three of Paul's favourite topics in his letters. It is faith and love. Hope, the third, we're going to have to wait a few verses till we see that. But time again in Paul's letters, he picks up on these three things. Faith, love and hope. In Paul's mind, these are the central characteristics of God's people. Firstly, faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus. That is the most uh, basic uh, element of a Christian. It is somebody who has faith, who trusts, who relies on Jesus and Jesus alone for their salvation. It is somebody who uh, trusts in his finished work on the cross and his resurrection. That's what it means to be a Christian, to have faith in the Lord Jesus. Secondly, it is love. And Paul picks up on various elements of this elsewhere. But here, the love he's talking about isn't the love for God. But you notice it's the love for all God's people. The, the thing that Paul has heard about the Ephesians is that they love one another. That they love each other, those who also have this faith in Jesus. And so today, I just want to encourage you to think about these two things briefly. First one to say is, is this you? Do you have this faith in Jesus? Are you trusting him for your salvation? If not, that has got to be the starting point. But secondly, do you have that love for all God's people? These two things are the foundation, the starting point of being Christians. But they are the, the, the characteristics of a Christian lifelong through. And so today, keep looking to Jesus. Keep looking to him alone for that salvation. Keep looking to him for forgiveness of sins. And love each other. Think of ways today. What one act of love could you do for a brother or sister, and um, perhaps in our church family today? What could you do? Think on that now, and show that love for each other.